Hi, good My name is Ms. Chinenerita Ezoka, the director of Choice Tissue Paper Industry, located in Tanichan and Brasket. Okay. Choice Tissue Paper Industry was founded by me in the year 2013, March precisely. Goodly handed and managed by me at the initial stage with number of two staff. Like I said before, in the year 2013, Choice to ship paper started with two staff, including me. Then I was active staff and also the manager and director at the same time. Today I have up to 10 staff working under me and two casual staff, making it up to 12. No, most of them, they couldn't wait to see what choice would become of in the future because initially when I started, I started very little, with little or no fun. So, we, we have a lot of challenges at the beginning. Most of them, they, at least two of them, they are not patient enough to wait to reap what choice might come up in the future so they left a lot initially when i started i started with little or no little capital so the first challenge that i faced in this business was finance because in every small scale business, if you don't have enough funds or finance to finance your business, that is one of the challenges that you will have. Because every small scale needs loan or let's say finance to finance their business. Without it, you are going nowhere. Because my business is highly competitive. So for you to be at safer side, you have to have enough capital for you to source your raw material at cheaper price and be able to compete in the market. That was my first challenge. Second one is light, electricity. In production, without electricity, you are going nowhere. At initial stage, I don't have generator to power me in my business. That was a challenge. But with time, when I found out that in this country, Nigeria, we cannot go anywhere without generator because we have poor power supply in this country. So with time, with a little short of time, like after one year, I was able to raise capital and I bought a generator to help me support the electricity we have here in Nigeria. That was the second challenge I have. The third challenge was very good cool to be converting my, my product to my customers because most of my customers, they don't stay around me. So we need vehicle or truck to take our product to them, to their doorstep. That will enable them to be patronizing us at any cost. Because if you don't give it to them, they will find it hard to come down to where we are producing to purchase. Because it's a, it's a kind of, it's, a, it's a something that cannot be easily carried out. It's bulky. Tissue paper is a little bit bulky. So that was my third challenge. And finally, my final challenge is my competitors 
in, in every business, especially here in Nigeria, they like doing what other people are doing. So in the market, they have a lot of competitors in the market. So you have to be able to compete with them and be at safer side to be able to penetrate your customers. So you have to make it in a way that your product can suit in the market for you to be able to compete with other of your colleague that is producing the same product with you. I have not reached my target point. I have gone far, truly, but I have not reached my target point. So I'm not satisfied with my product yet. Because there are a lot of things that I'm looking at. Hopefully, before end of this year, I'll I'll start implementing them in my business. Like here in our country, most people believe that any of our product that is being embossed or perforated is foreign, but it's not true. That is the work of machinery. So I'm planning of importing or getting or buying a foreign machine that can help me emboss on my products and also perforate on it because i believe that will enhance my sales in the market that is my another my target this year so i'm planning towards that to perfect my product to be able to be better than other ones in the market that will attract more customers do you understand what i mean that will attract more customers because it will make my product to be unique and affordable because with the help of that machine i can be able to produce cheaper goods unique cheap and affordable and can satisfy my customers need at the same time of course i do that if that is what they need like i have hotels that like to customize my product with, uh, with their name so if the price is good i will do that for them because they are my customers so anything that will make them to be patronizing us i can do it for them so i do customize products for some of my customers every customized product attract extra charge is like special product for special people well this is a very sensitive question but i will tell you and most of them i will not tell you because every business every business has a secret although the secret of my business is basically god let me put it that way it's god because without him, I cannot go this far. But there was a time I was facing a lot of challenges. I was like, God, I don't know what to do again. It's like I'm going to give up on this. But he was there for me, ready to direct me and tell me what to do. And I was able to pick up without even knowing it. So whatever you want to do in this life put god first because with him you cannot go wrong you you will not make mistakes i'm a living testimony and again try and study your environment before any business you want to invest on and any business you want to invest on try and learn the business do research on the that business again be determined that this i must get this then pursue that your dream if you have any dream in this life try and pursue it don't let anything to distract you or to discourage you because when i was in school i had a dream that one day one day i'll be ceo of a company but i believe that rome was not built in a day that everything has a beginning and the beginning sometimes is a tough one because in this life, life can be worse at times. But in every situation we find ourselves, 
you have to try and manage that situation then be able to be happy in it everything we are doing try as much as possible to put God first that was my first secret in this business and again in production business there are a lot of things that you need to learn before you invest in my business because I'm going I'm not going to tell you about other business I'm talking about my business a lot of things are involved which I am not going to detail here now maybe next time but be determined study your target market find out what your customers want because here in Nigeria they want cheap products but with quality then if you are producing try and make your product to be affordable and also let it satisfy your customers need because Nigeria they cannot invest in something that cannot satisfy that their need that they want at the same time so if they need a tissue paper that can flush easily in the toilet if you don't give them what they want or any paper that cannot flush easily in the toilet after buying that your product at that initial time they will run away so in any business that you are doing try to maintain quality and be consistent in your quality that is the secret and make your product to be generally accepted in the market hmm. anyway what inspired me was I have seen the situation of my country and I know that to find job in this country is a little bit tough and I have tried to manage the situation, learn to be happy in it and pursue my dream. So when I finished school, I was not able to get a job. And I said to myself, I cannot waste time no longer. I have to be useful for my country and useful for my own self. And I hate being idle. So after staying at home for so many months, I was inspired to start something by myself, to be able to employ other, my fellow country people, rather than waiting for my country to employ me. And I said to myself, I can be useful to my com country, Nigeria. That if my country did not favor me, I can favor them by creating jobs for other people. And with God by my side, I was able to do that. So my inspiration was that I believe in myself and I depend on myself and God. I did not depend on my country, Nigeria. That was what inspired me at first. Because I said to myself, no, I'm not a lazy Nigerian youth. If my country did not employ me, I have to do something about that. That was why I kicked off this business. And today I'm grateful that I have no regret. I am not regretting anything. I'm not regretting that I did this and I'm not regretting that I am into business. So that is it. My mentor is God. God has been my mentor starting from day one. Until today, I'll always be grateful to God because without him, I am nobody. That is it. My advice to my fellow Nigerian youth is that in any situation that you find yourself in, try and manage that situation. Believe in yourself. 
try to do something new. Try to be useful for yourself and for your family. Because I learned to be happy in my country, Nigeria. Regardless of the situation I found myself, I was able to employ in my country. I was able to do something for myself, for my family, and for my country. Today, at least, I can pay off to 12 workers. I can pay them. They depend on me because if they lose job today, they are losing a lot. So my advice to my fellow Nigerian youth is that sometimes don't really wait for somebody to help you. Try to use your brain. Try to think positively on how to help yourself and your family. That is it. Thank you. A man who has a proof and best of evidence From busy Mandela became a president Mandela is a proof of best intelligence The only best among the other government This one of today It is only in Africa International crime court to sell International crime court to sell I wonder why it did happen for Asia I wonder why it did happen for Europe I wonder why you let it happen for America.